want to move to a startling headline about the Zika virus as the number of cases here in the U.S. has doubled from 113 to 279. Now, the reason for the spike, there's a new counting method. And to curb the increase, President Obama is urging Congress to pass nearly $2 billion in funding. Uh, this was based on public health assessments of all the work that needs to be done. But this is not something where we can uh, build a wall to prevent mosquitoes don't go through customs. To the extent that we're not handling this. You can see the president taking a clear swipe at Donald Trump right there. Congress has approved $600 million. But we want to bring in uh, Richard Besser, ABC's chief health and medical editor, to explain these new numbers. Okay, so Dr. B, this is a dramatic increase. We're talking about yeah. 113 to 279. Right. What's the explanation? So in the past, the CDC was only reporting on pregnant women who tested positive for Zika and had symptoms. Now they're including pregnant women who test positive for Zika but don't have symptoms. And the reason is there's some evidence that if you get infected and have no symptoms, your baby can still be affected. Asymptomatic. Okay. Is there a legitimate concern for women who are not pregnant but have contracted the virus? Let's say one day down the road, could that virus still be in them if they do want to have a baby? And could that baby be affected? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a really important question. Similar viruses to Zika don't linger in the body, but there's evidence that this virus can linger in men for at least 60 days. So they recommend that women wait at least six months before getting pregnant if they've been to a Zika affected country uh, and uh, at least eight weeks and men wait at least six months. Important to note that. How concerned are you, Dr. Besser? We have over 200 countries headed to Brazil, to Rio, to ground zero for this virus this summer for the Olympics and then will then return to their respective countries possibly after being after being after they contract that. So how concerned are you? Uh, from a public health standpoint, this is the last thing you want to see have, have happen. You know, you have people coming into a country, at least it's the winter in Brazil, so it's not a rapid transmission period, but many people are going to be coming back to places like the U.S. where mosquitoes are very active. That's very concerning if people don't take precautions in Brazil to avoid bites. And you talk about precautions, there are simple things we can do to guard and protect, right? Yeah, I mean, in here, we can get ready right now. You want to repair your screens, you want to repair your gutters, get rid of freestanding water, stock up on repellent so that when mosquito season comes, we can protect those around us who may be pregnant. Dr. Besser, always great to have you in studio. Thank you for that Pleasure. important advice.